Hello, I'm Rod Van Abema with C3, West Michigan's Inclusive Spiritual Connection. I'm going to bring you today's meditation. But I want to mention that this Sunday, August 1, we will resume in-person gatherings. They are at Grand Haven Community Center at 10 o'clock. There will be a teaching by Kent Dobson, our leader, and in subsequent Sundays, either by Kent or a guest teacher. There will be a meditation, and there will be music from our favorite musicians. Also, there will be talk back afterwards. This is a time in which we can all share our thoughts in response to the teaching. And there will be child care throughout the morning. If you can't visit us in person, please tune in to Facebook at 10 o'clock in the morning where the gathering will be live streamed. Well, this has been the last week in which Kent devoted his teachings to conversation. It was a fascinating and demanding journey. I don't know about you, but when it comes to conversation, I often have a hard time speaking from the heart, and I would usually rather talk than listen, sad to say. This week, Kent spoke of ways to help us listen better. He suggested thinking of an old-style radio dial. When listening, we could choose from different frequencies. We could dial to a question, such as, what is your spiritual or religious background? Or we could turn the dial to focus on what is happening around us. We could dial in to notice our own sense experience in the present moment. Or we could dial into our own emotions so that we could understand our feelings in reaction to the other person. This all made me think of the depth and complexity in human beings that doesn't seem to exist in other earthly creatures, a depth that com comes from our ability to think in words and speak words. I wondered how such complex phenomenon as speech is generated in our brain, so I went to Wikipedia. There was a big article. I scanned down to contents and this is what I read. Broca's area, Wernicke's area, angular gyrus, insular cortex. Each heading was followed by one or two very long paragraphs. Well, that was too complex for me. Kent's thoughts were easy to digest in comparison. I would sum up what I have learned from personal experience and from Kent's teachings this way. Maybe if we let go of our usual personal agenda and speak what is on our heart, maybe if we loosen our grip on all the important stuff we wanted to say and just open up and listen, maybe if we try to honor our own deepest self and the other's deepest self, then a living organic connection can happen in conversation. At the beginning of Kent's talk, he read a poem by Marilyn Nelson called Genuine Conversation, or rather, Genuine Listening. And a few words from it really jumped out to me because they spoke of the wonder that can occur if we really find ourselves in a genuine conversation. She said, my mind fireworks with unasked questions. Who is this miracle speaking to me? And who is this miracle listening? What amazingness are we creating? I close with a word that is often used to mean the divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste.